Hello everyone. Now let's see layout of inverter using cadence tool. So on the desktop, I'm going to create my folder that is delete underscore layout. Now I'll click on create. The folder is created. I'll open that folder, right click, click on open in terminal. Here I need to invoke my cadence tool for that CSH, then source home install this one. Then here I need to click on virtuoso tool, enter. So here my library will open. And here I'll click on tools, then library manager. And here in my library manager, I need to go to file, new library. I need to create a new library now. So I'll be creating INV1. So INV1 or INV11, anything. For uh, schematic, I have created INV1. For layout, I am creating INV11. I'll click on OK. Now, attached an existing technology library. OK. Then, INV11 is what I have selected. Then, in this GPDK180 package, I need to select. I'll click on OK. Then, after this, GPDK180 is there. INV11 is what I have created. This one, I need to highlight. And then I need to go to file, new, cell view. So here new file is ready with come and I, I'll click on this pop-up window. Then my cell name is also INV11 only I'll give. That is I'll make sure that my library name and cell name is same. Click on OK and then maximize this window. I from my keyboard to add instance. In GPDK180 library itself, cell is PMOS. enter twice now i'm going to place this pmos is placed escape on my keyboard i from my keyboard to add n mos so for that n mos is selected enter enter twice so i'm going to place it here escape now what i'll do next is i will click on vdd pins for that p from my keyboard i need to give v in space vdd space vss as my input pins separated by spaces i click on hide so first i can place v in second i can place vdd for that i am going to rotate i am placing here then i am going to rotate once again vss and i am going to place here then i will click on p once again and from input i will select the direction as output and v out is my output pin click on hide I'm placing over here, click on escape. Now what I'll do, I'll click on W to wire. So VD2 to PMOS source, then PMOS drain to NMOS drain, and then source of NMOS to VSS, then this V out to this drain junction, and then I need to short two gates of the transistors, and then I need to interconnect that with the V in pin. Now this is my connection. I should not forget to connect the substrate terminal of PMOS and the substrate terminal of NMOS. So after connecting this, I need to do escape and then check save. After doing the check save, I need to check whether any error is there. For that Virtuoso window I will go. It says schematic is saved with no errors. This particular pop-up should come. This we have to check. Now after checking this INV11 schematic as no error, then I'll come to this window again. I'll come here, I'll click on launch and then here layout Excel. So here, click on OK directly and then here INV11, let it be same, click on OK. And my layout window will come just beside my schematic window. I will maximize my layout window. Now here, Click on create and then okay. Click on connectivity and then click on generate. After that, all from source. And then here, minimum separation by default it will be 0.12 itself. Let it be that itself. No need to edit anything over here. Just click on OK here. So after this, what I need to do is, I need to shift F. I need to press shift F to get all my 
uh, layered information. Now what I'll do is I have to extend the PR boundary to connect properly. So for that I will extend it by using clicking the stretch icon. That stretch icon is placed just before delete button. So stretch I will click here then I will click somewhere here and then I will extend and uh, using my scroll button up and down I can minimize I can zoom in and zoom out this particular window so here again I'll click and again I'm maximizing here top one and right one only I need to extend the PR boundaries apart from that none of the boundaries I'll touch so I have extended now I'll click on F F is fit to window then what I'll do is I will go to I'll click on this uh, transistor first I'll just right click on this transistor or uh, just click on this transistor once rose color box will come click on Q properties will come select the parameter in the body type I'll click on integrated so if I do this it means uh, source terminal and substrate terminal is integrated together I'll click on OK. I have to do this for both the transistors. So here, properties and parameters again, body type, integrated. Click on apply and then OK. Directly OK also we can give. Now after this, what I have to do is place, pin placement and here VDD is top edged one. So I'll click on top. After that, I'll click on apply, then H rail, horizontal rail. Then VSS is bottom edge pin, and then I'll click on apply, then H rail. So if I do this, I can see that my VDD line and uh, VSS line is extended. Now, after this, my V in I will select. I'll click on V in is my left pin, I'll click on apply. V out is I'll click and it is uh, right pin I'll apply then after this I'll click on close so close button is over here I'll click on close now after doing this particular process I will take my transistors in the middle position and after this I'll make sure that the place, uh, the spacing is maintained properly. Now, so after this, I need to do the wiring. Before that, I need to take wire. So I'm going to do that now. So here, I'll come to create wire. And here, wire definition M1 poly 1, I will select. Then I'll click on hide. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to connect over here. Why I have to be connected to V in place. I'll click on escape. V in Y has to be connected like this. I'll just zoom in and out. So two V in has to be in the straight order. It should not be overlapped. Yes, now we can see two V in's are straight. I'll zoom in a little more and I'll verify once again. Yes, it is straight. Now, fit to window by clicking F from my keyboard. After that, I need to do the wiring. For wiring here, I need to press P. So here, I need to connect my gate terminal first. That will be best suggested. So I need to select poly. Yes, poly is selected in the layer. And now I'm doing that connection. So from here to here, I have to connect. I have connected. I'll click on escape to check whether the connection has happened properly or not. It has not happened properly. So what I do, I select this NMOS transistor. I will make, I'll adjust this transistor such a way that, yes, now it is right. This poly silicon is right. Now F fit to window. Now I need to take the P again. That means I need to press P again from the keyboard to take this uh, wire. So here poly silicon is selected. From here to here I need to connect. So it is connected. Now here in the layer I will take metal one. And after selecting metal one in the layer, again P from my keyboard to do the further connection. That is VDD should be connected from here. VSS should be connected from here. And then two drains terminals has to be shorted. After that, this V out has to be connected to this junction. 
this is my simple connection i will click on escape and i'll check whether this metal connection has happened properly or not yes it has happened properly so only we have to check this gate connection if the gate connection is proper then everything will be proper then f fit to window my connections are over now i'll save this after saving i have saved no error scheme but check once using the virtuoso window in the virtuoso window you maximize this window you will get here so okay so it will not come so anyhow so what you need to check is uh, we have saved then click on ashura technology and here three dots and uh, two dots over here that means i have to select the license file so it is there in the install folder foundry analog 180 nanometer in this ashura underscore tech dot lib i'll click on okay i'll click on okay here also first i'll apply and then click on okay then after this again ashura run drc drc means design rule check and here run name i can give anything some a b c anything so technology is gpdk 180 and then i'll click on apply then okay okay i will give we want to view the result they are asking yes do you want to stop the job still it is running let us wait for some time yes this pop up window should come no drc errors found so after getting this close this then vlw window also you can close then come to ashura run lvs lvs is layout versus schematic run name you give it as uh, d e b or anything then uh, technology is gpdk 180 then click on okay click on okay here also in the pop up now that particular pop up window will come this says uh, total drc violation zero this we have to get if you click on yes then one more window will pop up that is lvs debug window which says schematic and layout match now after getting this window you close this lvs debug window and come to layout design once again before that vlw window also you close so after this step go to ashura again click on quantus run quantus this particular window will come here gpdk 180 is the technology same thing output is extracted view then come to extraction select rc then here reference node give it as vss then come down here enable hrs cx is there that should be disabled that should be unticked then come up then nothing has to be selected click on apply okay then click on okay here do you want to stop yes run yes so we got to wait for 2 seconds or 5 seconds yes now it came quantus run av extracted is completed successfully click on close now after closing this go to file open and here layout view is there click on av extracted inv11 click on okay yes this window has come and then you browse it that is you zoom in it so p resistance breadth if you click on shift f resistor diagram you can see and in place of capacitor also you can see the capacitor that i'll show you transistor diagram you can see here this is a pmos transistor in the pull up region this is a nmos transistor in the pull down region and capacitor resistor also we can see resistance we can see here like that capacitor also we can see by zooming in
So capacitor and the resistor will come here. That's it. After getting this window, this is done. Thank you.